Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video we're going to be learning um, again about making figures with NumPy arrays part 2. So in this part we're going to be learning uh, how to make subplots, okay? Uh, so yeah, let's uh, jump to our Jupyter Notebook. Uh, if you want to launch your Jupyter Notebook, uh, it's the standard procedure, not procedure, procedure, I don't know how to say it, whatever. Uh, it's the standard procedure procedure and um yeah so uh please make sure you do that before you start otherwise it won't work so yeah let's actually uh get started okay so this is where we left off last time uh we we learned how to uh, about making figures in numpy arrays we learned about the line plot scatter plot bar plot uh we learned about horizontal bar plot and a histogram um, and we also learned a few NumPy features. So uh, today, as I told you, we're going to be learning about subplots. Okay. Um, and basically, there are actually there are actually two methods for <laughs> two methods for subplots. Um, and I'm going to show you both of them. So, method one. Okay. And let me just spell this properly. There you go. So, method one. So, um, it this is the method uh, I would recommend because it's much more easier to kind of visualize or think about uh, rather than method two. But you can choose whatever you want. So, depending on your comfort, you can choose. So I am going to say um I'm gonna say fig at fig um x one x two um x three x four is equal to plt dot subplots um and yeah so uh and then in here we put n rows is equal to two and calls is equal to two um and fig size is equal to 10 by 5. so you might be thinking hey what does this even mean so have a think about this what could this mean over here and also what could this n rows and l n calls even mean so think about that um and yeah so have you thought about it uh okay so have you thought about it um if you have so basically this is what this means so uh it, this over here creates four axes okay n rows is how many axes you want on one uh how many rows you want of axes and how many columns of axes you want okay and then you set a fig size so if we run this um you see that we get four nice figures and also we might actually change the height hopefully uh let's change the height to a actually there we go <laughs> there we go so uh we got nice actually seven there we go so now we got a uh, nice subplots so um yeah so here we create four uh, axes um and then now we can now what we can do is we can plot data to each axis uh so um so if we were to plot on x1 this would be this uh, square over here this subplot over here because uh, that's the first one so it'll be x1 so x1 dot plot and we're gonna plot x and x over two uh now um not a sorry x over two now this x um was this np dot random dot rand n okay uh and we it's got a thousand values so i'm not going to show you right now so if we run that we can see that now we got a straight line so we've filled up one of our subplots already um we can now fill up x2 which will be this one over here and we're going to use a scatter graph so x2 dot scatter uh we're gonna pass in np dot random dot random 
we want 10 values um and then again for the y i'm gonna put np dot random dot random and again i want 10 more values and we put semicolon and now we get a scatter plot so no matter how many times you run it we get a random or maybe pseudo random numbers <laughs> just thought to remind you of that so uh now let's do a bar graph or so let's do x3 dot bar i'm gonna do bar h you can do bar but if you have bar h you need to make uh, convert it into a list um but then if you've got bar you can just put them normally so we got jam prices uh which were our jam, pr jam prices that we created in the previous video so jam prices dot keys um and i also want the list value of jam prices dot values um and i'll put a semicolon there and now we've got our jam prices over here um and the last thing is we want to plot to axes four so x4 is dot let's do a histogram uh we're gonna put in np dot random actually uh, do we need to do that no uh actually let's type that again so np dot random dot random so this returns the normal distribution we lot about that in the previous video um i'm just gonna pass in 1000 again so uh now we have our histogram uh we have these four subplots so the first one's line this one's scatter this one's a horizontal bar graph and this one is a histogram okay so uh that is the first method uh i recommend this method to you because it's much more easier to visualize the second method is slightly harder to visualize than the first one so um let us look at method two okay so um method two we've got fig x is equal to plt dot subplots um we say n rows is equal to two and coals is equal to two um and fig size is equal to 10 by 7. so so basically what uh what i think we're going to do is we're going to replicate this but in a different method so um if we run this we have the four figures again um so how this works is basically we have to index to each subplot in this axe because now uh it it thinks that the all of these subplots are in one axis so we need to index to each subplot uh using uh list indexing so now instead of plotting to each different axis we have to plot to each different index okay um so when they say x zero zero so what do you think that one is so that one is this top one over here so x zero zero dot plot so we're going to do line here x and x over two uh and then we put semicolon let's run this will it work yes so after that we say x zero one which will be this one because it's on the first row uh it's on the first row and the second column dot scatter um we're going to pass in np dot random dot random uh np dot random dot random we want 10 values um and then np dot random dot random uh we want a another 10 values okay uh if we run that oops we need a semicolon oh my where did i put it oh there you go i put it there so i need to put it in the correct place there we go so we got our scatter graph there um so now we're going to do x you want to index to the second row and the first column which is this one over here dot scatter 
actually not we're not doing scatter graph i'm gonna do bar i'm just gonna do bar h uh if you want bar chart it's the same as above uh you just don't put in it in add as a list so list uh list um what is it again? jam prices dot keys um and we want the list value of jam <laughs> list prices of jam prices dot values okay um and we're going to put a semicolon at the end and we have that um and last of all we want to do our histogram so x we want the second row and the second column which is this last one over here this incomplete one dot hist okay uh we're gonna pass in np dot random dot random um i'm gonna we're gonna we want 1000 values uh we put semicolon at the end and now we replicate it well not completely because these two are random so it won't really replicate too much but we still um you know kind of got the guest of it so yeah so uh yeah these are the two methods for um creating subplots with numpy okay so in the next video we're going to be learning how to plot with pandas okay uh because uh you won't really be using numpy you'll be mostly using pandas um when plotting so yeah that's why we're gonna learn it so yeah if you like this video please like and subscribe um if you have any comments or doubts please comment them in the comment section below uh and if you um if you would and yeah so i guess that's the end of this video bye